Uh, thank you very much uh, for coming to uh, Mitral Valve Theater live case session. Uh, this is a Mitral Clip case live from uh, Assam Medical Center, Seoul, Korea. I'm Takashi Matsumoto from Senda Kose Hospital. I will share this session with uh, four expert panelists, Dr. Shunsuke Kubo, Dr. Jun Sung Kim, and Dr. Michael Kang Yen Lee, and Dr. Uh, Edgar Lee Kui Tae. So uh, today's case is a mitral clip case from uh, Assam Medical Center. The first operator is uh, Dr. Du Yong Kang, and the echo operator is uh, Dr. Dai He Kim. Uh, Dr. Kang. Uh, thank you for your instruction, Dr. Machimoto. It's my honor to present the live case uh, to the uh, experienced panelist and moderator, especially for the Dr. Machimoto. I learned the mitral clip from him in Sendai. And this is the uh, live case for degenerative MR patient. And I will introduce my team before being the case. I'm Dr. D.Y. Gang from Asa Medical Center. And my assistant co-operator is Dr. Go Yi Hong. And our imaging specialist, Dr. Dae Hee Kim, uh, Professor Dae Hee Kim is the very experienced imaging specialist. And my, uh, the, Help our senior technician, Lo Jin Sung and Lee Yong will help our procedure. And our anesthesiologist, Dr. Kim, will keep the vital signs stable during the procedure. And Dr. Go, can you please uh, yes. present our case? Okay. Can you see the slide? Yes. Okay, the case is 79 years old female who was presented to our hospital with worsening uh, this year, a couple of months ago. Chance a fragile echo finding shows a significant prolapse a medial portion of both anterior and the posterior leaflet with a caudal rupture. And next. His cardiovascular risk factor is there is no risk factor for cardiovascular risk and the age is 19, uh, sorry, 79 years old female and the STS prone is 2.7% uh, and uh, since she has a worsening uh, this year now, she got uh, knee heart function three. And next. Echo finding shows the uh, ejection fraction is well preserved, 71%. And uh, after this presentation, the professor Dei Kim will uh, provide uh, detailed information about the uh, TEE information. And next. The chest x ray showing the uh, cardiomegaly and the uh, apit congestion. And next. EKG showing the sinus rhythm. And next. Okay, uh, yeah. Professor Dei King, could you uh, describe the uh, TEA co finding today? Uh, good morning, everyone. This is Dei King from Asam Medical Center. Uh, can you see the image uh, clearly? Yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are using a Philips Epping machine with the latest X-ray 2T probe. As you can see here, this is a typical mid S fragile four chamber view, and every function and every function looks good. Uh, in a uh, modified uh, commissural view, uh, you can clearly see prolapse of this segment uh, indicating uh, anterior A3 and P3 involving medial commissure. In color flow image, you can see big pizza greater than 10 millimeter and thick vena contractor right here. The radius of pizza was uh, 11 millimeter, uh, like this. This is a true bicommissional view. You can uh, only uh, A3 prolapse here, but we have to uh, put the probe deeper than usual. We can uh, find uh, the commissional prolapse uh, as before. Yeah, this is color flow image. Uh, this is a biplane view, but uh, this is a, a medial commissural region. The perpendicular plane is not true elbow view. Okay, this is a uh, biplane view. In mm. uh, similar to elbow view, the thickness of vena contractor, the radius of pitcher bigger than uh, in bicommissural and uh, commissural view. This is a sim, uh, single, uh, similar to LVT view. In 3D uh, reconstructed and view, you can clearly see uh, 
A3 and P3 uh, medical commissioner products. We initially are planning, we are planning to implant two, at least two clip, uh, more medially in the first. After then, uh, the second clip uh, will be implanted uh, just uh, next to the first clip. This is a color flow imaging. You can clearly see uh, CBO MR resultant uh, from the medical commissioner products. Uh, interestingly, uh, this is a polymer vein flow. Uh, I think that there is no uh, systolic polymer vein flow reversal, just blunting and right of polymer vein, uh, no uh, polymer vein flow reversal. Uh, because the polymer vein flow reversal is specific, the sensitive marker of a CBMR, but in cardiac pressure profile, uh, there's a definite V wave. Can, can you see the V wave? Yes. Oh, yeah. I will show you later. Yeah, yeah this is a major control region. We are the initial set type puncture height. We are planning to uh, close to 4.5 centimeter. Yeah, 4.44. Okay. After uh, guide wire inserted, uh, we uh, found that the uh, last uh, set type puncture height 4.42. The catheter in the middle uh -huh. of LA. Okay. The final puncture here. Yeah. Now we Thank are you here. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you for your. Uh, informative instruct, uh, introduction and beautiful TE images. I always op I'm appreciated for Dr. Kim for his beautiful and strict mm. image <laughs> and instruction. And in summary, the patient is 79 year old female with some frailty and severe symptomatic MR with dyspnea. Actually, the surgical risk STS score is not so high, but uh, the patient refused surgery and very old, 79 year old and frailty, we decided to perform the mitral clip procedure. And because the region is at the medial commissure and medial prolapse, so we decided we are planning to put the clip at the medial list side, maybe at the commissure, and then uh, put the on additional uh, clip at the just uh, lateral to the first clip. And now in Korea, only anti devices are available. Uh, the Gen 4 may be available in this year, but now only anti is available. We will use to anti device. And I want to ask the experienced panelists to our plan and the patient selection. Thank you very much uh, for a beautiful case briefing. And 79 years old female with uh, PC prolapse. And the, the severity of MR is severe for sure. So this need, patient needs a mitral clip for, uh, I think there's no doubt about that. But um, my uh, uh, question, uh, uh, question or concern is that the, this is PC prolapse is uh, not straightforward. It's very challenging case, right? Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> is there any comment from uh, expert panelist? Can you please show the echo of the baseline TE of the mitral mm. valve? Uh, you mean 3D imaging? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, because the image yeah, was very one, beautiful. One question. Yeah. yeah, for the uh, indication of the mitral clip procedure, because we also, we uh, we have a little experience for the mitral clip, but already we have uh, some conflict with the uh, surgical department for the uh, selection of the uh, patient. Especially in this patient, 79 years old and low uh, surgical risk, then I think that in the in the guideline, uh, current guideline, especially degenerative MR, usually recommended uh, uh, for, to perform the surgery in this case. So I think that there is uh, some conflict, and yeah. how can how can we solve this problem in in other countries? <laughs> yeah, yeah it, co commission perhaps is one with challenging case of mitral clip, but uh, one. Uh, mm, but this case, uh, when we see this 3D view, the of course, there is a, a prolapse of PC, but also uh, S3 and P3 is also prolapsed. I feel there is a chance to grasp that region. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. All right. Uh, is but, it? Uh, Dr. Ken, to, to complete the story, I'm sorry. Can you just let us know what kind of medical um, treatment has patient received? Because. Uh, as we all know, we need to maximize the medications, maximize all the other parameters before we... Of, of course, we all agree that it is an uh, uh, indicated patient for my drug procedure. Yes, just the, let us know the medication. Yeah. The patient is treating with uh, ARB 
and the beta blocker and lashings with the uh, uh, full vaccine medication as possible and with the beta blocker increment there was some bradycardia as you can see in the in the screen the heart rate is now only 40 so we could not maximize more medication and the patient is taking ARB and beta blocker as much as possible and diuretics as tolerable dose but still symptomatic and so we decided to treat this patient okay okay, yeah. okay then i will show you how where we are uh, i just did the septal puncture let me please show me the image as the dr kim showed i tried to put the septal puncture position at the 4.5 centimeter from the height from the mitral annulus and we are using the because we RF needle is not available now, so I used this bovi bovi catheter with the Brukenberg needle to mimic the RF needle, and then the septal point puncture position that the Kim approved that is safe. Next, and with a uh, steep wire. Next, and I gently introduced the steel guide catheter because the outer diameter is 24 French, it's very stiff, so with the visualizing the root of the O is a little bit dangerous, next. And gently introduce the catheter into LA. And now we are here, I prepared the anti-system and I will go through to LA. Can you please show the tip of the catheter? Okay. I will put in, push in the cat, cat, uh, clip into the LA. Yeah, here is uh, the tip of the caster, okay. as you can see here. I will a little bit yeah, pull out yeah, yeah, okay. the good position. Yeah. Steel guide catheter, and we'll introduce the clip into LA. Okay. With the checking the tip of the clip. Yeah, just clip in. Yeah, not mm -hmm. to touch the free LA wall. Okay. okay. How about the position? Is it safe? Yeah, safe. Uh, okay. That touch with uh, the LA wall. Okay. Okay, now we are in the saddle position that the marker mm -hmm. of the steel guide catheter and the clip delivery system is in one line. And I will perform the M dive and the TE monitoring is very important to observe, uh, not to touch the LA free wall or LA appendage leach during the M dive. And with the M nerve, Okay, I will perform the M dive. Can you please show the tip of the? Okay, it's good. Okay, right here. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And with the M movement, the anti system usually moves anteriorly, so I will perform the. Pro Let's move to intercommissural view. Yeah. And posterior movement simultaneously. And now we are heading to the medial part. Okay. This transept was done very well, I think, in terms yeah. of the height. Um, Medially. Usually with the medial defect and also a prolapse of this degree, a high yeah. puncture in this case would be perfect, I think, mm. for, for the first approach. I think that's, yeah, I that's totally one, agree. one good step. Yeah. I want, okay. How about the, this position, Dr. Kim? Uh, I think it's Should a slightly move, move toward uh, the media, more, more media. More yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, I'll yeah. try. Mm. M dive, okay, and I pushed out for the system with the drawer to move medially. How about this position? Oh, okay. that's good, I think. Yeah. yeah. Then let's check the trajectory angle in biplane image. Okay. okay, push in and out. How about this angle? Oh, good, good. Yeah, I move yeah, a little bit good posteriorly. Trajectory, yeah. Yeah. From the... Okay. Yep. Because the, yeah. the medial position, there is a lot of structures of the coda and annulus, mm -hmm. and it, we will go into the commissure to avoid the injury risk. I will minimize my movement of the clip. And I will open so, the clip. Yeah. So you intentionally M dive to uh, region, right? Oh, yeah. In this case, I intentionally mm -hmm. uh, tried to perform the M dive. Yeah. Yeah. To, uh, so I. Almost uh, maximally use the M, mm -hmm. M knob. Yeah. Do you like this angle? How about 
You're thinking, Dr. Matsumoto. Please release and absorb uh, slightly. Absorb slightly. Yeah. Okay, I will a little bit release the absorb. How about this angle? Oh, looks good. It will be okay. Mm. Uh, Dr. Matsumoto, how do you think about yeah, the position? We can touch the okay. LED wall. I, yeah, I think that this is okay. So, do you check uh, arm orientation? Yes, okay. I okay. will open the clip and check the arm orientation. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a three arm passive view. Okay. It's 180 degree opened. Let's check the angle. Okay, uh, slightly counterclockwise, yes. please. Yeah. During the commissioner MR treatment, I tried to make some uh, the 5, 11 p.m. Okay, that's it, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I, you agree? I agree. Do yeah. you, is there any comment from a panelist? Yeah. How do you control arm uh, orientation when you treat uh, yes. media commission? Dr. Kubo? Yes, I, I think that the general is uh, I oriented the uh, uh, 12 and the 6 o'clock, but uh, if we put the, a clip uh, medially, uh, we a uh, little bit of uh, a uh, counterclockwise talk to a uh, uh, clip. So yeah. I think I, I, mm -hmm. I agree with uh, Dr. Khan. Uh, I will uh, control the clip orientation to 11 to 5 o'clock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. OK. Then uh, can you please show the emphasis image again? Because it is a little bit uh, rotated. OK. Yeah. Once more. OK. Uh, panelists, uh, do you, uh, are you satisfied with this angle? <laughs> I try to yes, make I, a pipe. I, I, I like okay. this uh, orientation, yeah. OK. Then I will. Dr. Gun, please yeah. uh, open the clip uh, 180 degree. OK, I will yeah. open the clip mm -hmm. a little bit more at 180 degree, yeah, I think. OK, I, I think that the position is good. Yeah. Uh, rotation. Then I, power. I will dive into LV under by plan image guidance. Okay, it's a little bit move to posterior and a little bit medially I will move and I will, yeah, it, after the T image is stabilized, I will push in this cut uh, clip. Yeah. Do most okay. of you go into the left ventricle with the clip arms open or some of you would yeah. go in with the clip arms a little close for the uh, commercial defects? Okay, we are, we are in. Usually I close. Close. Yeah, I also yeah. prefer to <laughs> go in and look. Okay, that's a good position. Okay. Okay. How, how much close is, uh, is optimal in this case? Usually all, all close or it's one of the many? When I uh, push creep into an uh, area, I fully close. Uh, fully close. Let's okay. check the orientation yeah. again. The, the clip slightly sure may be rotated, right? right? Yeah. yeah. OK. I too much usually too much. I don't close it all. Um, I guess it, it's a, just a personal problem, but going in a bit close okay. to some degree okay. has some advantage okay. in terms of the risk of uh, okay. inter interacting with the cordae. Okay. okay, now we are in the medical commission. Let's check the clip. Okay. 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 Now, not, not completely. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I will go to the 30 or 20 degree. 20 degree. Yeah, okay. okay. let's try it at grasping uh, right here. So, quickly uh, thing anyway. Anterior mm -hmm. 잡혔을까요? So the chance in this case is that the the body tends to hit the clinic and always uses yet? Okay. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. So then we have to be patient. 다시, 조금만 열고 다시 한번 볼게요. A little bit open to 120. And we'll try to grasp. Oh, anterior is now out. It's already put the gripper. Yeah. Gripper is up now. Scrip okay, down. I will put in the gripper now and close the clip at 60 degree. At six, uh, yeah, let's yeah. check uh, the color. Look at the calm. Yeah. Can you hear us? I cannot hear your voice, I think. Oh, yeah. Can can I hear my voice? Dr. Gang, full yeah. close, please, right full here. Full close. And our technical team, can you please uh, adjust our voice? Yeah, much improvement. Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. This is, I will Dr. release yeah. a little bit tension. Okay. Yeah. I want to minimize the, the 
grasping and uh, the pull back to minimize the injury. Dr. Gang, can yeah. you see the image? Yes, I, I can the, see uh, The problem yeah. is the anterior reflex. Uh, yeah. We um, mm -hmm. try to grasp anterior reflex more aggressively. Uh, okay. Yeah. The panelists, do you agree that anterior reflex is not fully aggressive? So do you check arm orientation in LV? Arm orientation? Okay. In LV? In LV? After you advance grip in LV? Yeah, I checked the Yeah, we already checked. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then I will, as the, Dr. Kim recommended, I will regress the, to fully cover the anterior leaflet. Okay. I opened the clip up to 120 degree. And can you please check the clip ang orientation angle okay. in the advanced again. view? It's a little bit rotated. Yeah. 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 Counter clock mm -hmm. slightly. Clockwise a little bit. Clock angle. Clock angle slightly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. How do you like it? Okay. Okay. I think it's a bit, a bit better. <laughs> yeah, let's check the biplane image again. Okay. Now. Okay, now I it's will, good. Oh, that's good. Yeah. More grasping oh, the great. anterior lip yeah, great. And Okay, great, great. Yeah. To the grasping and mm. close the oh, flat at 60 degree. Now. And I check yeah, the Can color. you please check the. Yeah, full close, echo. please. Full close. Ah, uh, better than before, I think. Yeah. But uh, we need one more clip just next to the uh, yeah. first clip. Mm. Yeah, but I think after two clips, the MR are much less. Uh, do you agree? Uh, how, how about how do you think about uh, this, uh, Dr. Matsumoto? Uh, the both reflet is uh, fully uh, is grasped, I think. Uh -huh. But uh, I want to check uh, the. You know, uh, there is a jet from media and lateral side of clip. Yeah, yeah, right, right. That's I, why I we, should, we should put a second clip uh, over there. Mm. Yes, our Is initial prolapse? Yeah, prolapse. Oh. Our initial plan was to put the clip at the very commissure and next put another clip or uh, just uh, lateral to the first clip. And we, I wanted to put the additional clip at the, the very last, uh, just lateral position of the first clip. Do you agree with this plan or wanna? Uh, Regressive the clip. I want to ask to the panelist. Can you show us the 3D? The 3D, 3D from the, right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I just worry about distortion. So, 제 귀에 들리는 볼륨을 좀 올려주세요. Okay, this is a beautiful 3D mm. image. Okay, and medial, very medial or very lateral position mm. is very difficult to uh, uh, take a very good image. And mm. I think the clip yeah. is fully grasped the anterior and posterior, both of the plat, as you can see here. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. We catch it, we cut the very, uh, very medial part of the valve mm. at the very commissure. Is it right? So, can you show us the 2D without a color of the uh, prolapse region? 2D what? Uh, but without color. Uh, without, without color, color. just yeah. 2D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 3D means yes. without yeah, just right 2D. Here. Yeah, okay. Can you see the, the prolapse? The, the, lemnot prolapse here? Yes, yes, yes. The, the location where you will deploy a second clip. Uh -huh. yeah. I think the just next, uh, the first clip uh, will be okay right here. The, uh, the, please look at I the see. pipeline cursor. We, 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 are we are dissecting perpendicular plane, plane right here. Okay, Dr. Yeah. Matsumoto, do you agree the implant the second clip right here? Yes, uh, but it seems like a little bit uh, anterior reflect. It looks like short, but I'm not sure, sure it is short or just because of uh, artifact. Uh -huh. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanna, I wanna also ask a question to the panelists that in this mm. kind of patient, do you usually plan and perform one clip or uh, two clip? 
we, are, we initially planned two clips for this procedure, mm -hmm. and I want to ask the panelists' opinion about this kind of region. One or two? Uh, ideally, uh, to, uh, to decrease the risk of tear, uh, I want to put uh, two clips. Yeah. But in most of the cases, the, the medial component is a little bit small in uh, of an Asian patient, so uh, sometimes it, it is hard to deploy two clips, just uh, there is only space for one clip. Yeah, okay. So in this case, we have two options, just move this first clip to a little bit uh, mid-lateral side, or Go to second clip. Yeah, go to second clip okay. because uh, mm. the, I, I, I did not measure pressure gradient, but uh, please, mm. uh, the nature of a color flow window, there is no mosaic pattern in my time flow. Being, I think the mean patient may be uh, one, one mini, one mini of mercury. Mm. Okay. I see. How we are preparing the second clip, and uh, can you please, uh, can you, Dr. Kim, can you please tell me about the, the indication for clip? Uh, clip detachment, safe clip detachment, and the second clip about the mitral, transmitral very pressure, gra pressure gradient or the stability of the clips. Can, yeah, I, but can, I, can I detach the clip now? Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. let me check again yeah. once more. The no, one, very yeah. stable position. Okay. One issue would mm. be the stability, and what another, uh, the most important thing is the reduction of the MR. Mm -hmm. And second issue would be the stability of the clip. And third issue would be the transmitter pressure gradient. Oh, after I think we don't clip. need to check the transmitter gradient, yeah. but please, please look at uh, the color flow, nature, yeah. only uh, no mosaic pattern yeah. in transmitter, okay. no, no elevation in okay. pressure gradient. Then we don't as, as Professor Kim in, uh, intro, uh, as in instruction, I will remove the first clip and we are preparing the second clip. Okay, before removing, I will check the final angle and the final angle, the clip is very stable. And I will remove, I will check the gripper line function. This is an anti device. Um, I'm anticipating the new G4 device. And I want to ask the panelists that in, if we use the G4 device, which, valve, which clip would you use for this kind of region? Uh, of course, we have uh, four uh, clips, yep. type of clips, NT and NT wide and XT and XT wide. In my sense, I, when we treat a medial side or lateral side, I want to use uh, just standard NT because if we use uh, NT wide, it is a little bit harder to go to total medial side or total lateral side because it is wide. How about uh, Dr. Kubo? Yes, so I think that this in this in this patient, uh, this uh, uh, P3 uh, reflex length is not so uh, long. So I think that uh, I will use the NT or NTW. And the, if we put if if we, if we want to put a clip, only one clip in this region, I will uh, use a NTW. Mm. But uh, if we if we want to cover this region in two clips, I think I will recommend a uh, uh, two NT clip. Okay. But uh, for me, I think I will try to use the NTW first. Okay. <clears throat> is, is there any? Is there any cutoff or criteria to use the NTW rather than NT? For example, the just width, uh, putting the width it, of the... Uh, the most uh, important factor is mitral value area, or yeah. area. Yeah. If it's over 4 cm square, uh, I straight go to NTW. Mm. But it, it is under 4 cm square, it depends on uh, uh, why width of jet. It is very wide jet. Uh, then I use uh, NTW, but it is not wide. It is not so wide. I use uh, NT. Yeah, I, I totally agree with Dr. Matsumoto. I I, I use the same criteria. So, but uh, under 4.5 square centimeter, I will I will use the NT. Yeah, tip just show you, please. Yeah. Just second clip. Yeah, I'm doing. 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 Okay, 제가 하겠습니다. First clip. 여기 좀 도와주세요. Okay, can you please uh, show us the echo image after first clip detachment? I just detached the first clip. 
And we are preparing the second clip. 여기 이거죠? 여기 좀 도와주세요. Yeah, significant mm. lambda DMR after first clip. Uh, we we have to implant the second clip just next to okay. to the first clip. Oh yeah, first clip looks stable. How yeah. about the mm. an echo? Very stable. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Doctor Kang. Yeah. yeah. How about the checking the LA pressure? Yeah, okay. I will check the LA pressure. Yeah. Okay. Before the procedure, uh, could you see the uh, pressure result? The, there was a prominent V wave before the procedure, and the peak V wave was 17, and the mean pressure gradient, mean pressure was in LA was uh, 9, and the peak V wave was 17. And now let's see. The LA pressure at the first clip, yeah, it's much. The V wave is still shown, but the, its prominence is decreased, and the peak is 15. Can you please? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, okay, now it's visible. Peak is 15 to 16, and mean pressure is 8. A little bit decreased uh, compared with the before the first clip, but as you can see, there is uh, still remained. Uh, amount of the MR, so maybe the sec with the second clip, it will be much better. And can you please show the, the, the pulmonary uh, venous return? But initially, no, yeah. no reversal in pulmonary venous. Okay. Uh. We are now uh, preparing the second clip. Okay, now let's see. So can you please, uh, okay. Can you show the echo just a little bit? I'll show you the echo. How did it go? Okay. Okay. Check. Yeah. Checking the clip function. And okay. 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 I will close. 들어갑시다. Okay. 들어갑시다. 네, 강대범. 들어갑시다. 다시 안 돼. 왜? 지금 Now there is some problem in the gripper function. Okay, let's check it again. Okay. Now it works well. Mm. Okay. Level down. Okay. Okay. Now second clip is ready. Okay. 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 Now we are targeting the medial portion of the clip, a medial portion of the the medial uh, medial leaflet, and just lateral to the first clip. And now I'm ready for the second clip. Sorry for the delay. Now check. Let's check. Okay. Okay, now we are introducing the second clip. To minimize the air introduction, I usually use... Okay, let okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, this second clip, another anti clip into mm. the sheath. And as you know, there is some blue line in the sheath. That's a, oh, here, stop, 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 suction. Okay, 
어디 이게 닫혀있나? 자꾸 해가 들어가. 오케이. 어, 빨리 빨리 이거 석션. 아니 이거 해결해줘요. 이거 다시 새로운 실인지. 오케이. 네, 비 there s o m e very f u n c t i o n failure. Okay, now it's okay. 음. They are embolism very risky. So, minimizing the risk of the air embolism is yeah. important 음. during the whole procedure. Maybe there was some problem in the v e r y function during the introduction, 음. but now it's okay. Oh, I was very surprised. Okay, now second clip is coming in. Okay, removing. Dr. Kim, can you please show the tip of the s h e a t Yeah, yeah. yeah. We are seeing the tip of the s h e a t Okay. Yeah. It's a little bit protruded into LA. And okay, slightly withdraw the catheter. I will. Yeah, just okay, clip it's in. in. As you can see. Maybe a little bit deep. Okay. Let's touch the LA wall. As same as the first procedure. Looks like the okay, uh, yeah, yeah, size yeah. of LA. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. dangerous. Touch with the LA yeah. wall. <laughs> okay, I will turn anteriorly and go through. Now it's much safer. Okay, okay. let's move to the commissioner view and by commissioner. It's now in the saddle position. I will move to medially and posteriorly. Can you please monitor the tip location? Right here. Okay, now it's coming into. I'm tracking your tip of the okay, uh, great, clip. Okay, great, great. Yeah. Mm. Great image. Okay, now we are just right here. Beside the first clip. A little bit medially. Do you like mm. it? Yeah, too close. I was too slightly. Close? Yeah, yeah, okay. because. Uh, mm. I will the angle slightly, uh, yeah. I will move a little bit. A little bit looks like a lateral dive. Lateral dive? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, I will move a little bit. Now is it much better? Yeah. Okay. Mm. I will move a little bit posteriorly. And we'll check the trajectory angle. Not to touch the first clip is very important. Yeah, because it's procedure. about the touching the yeah, first clip. A little, a little bit move to mm. laterally and go in and move to medially. Trajectory angle is OK? OK. OK. Then I will open the clip. So do you select the same uh, orientation angle as the first clip? Or? Oh, yeah. I want to ask the panelists that same 5 to 11 p.m. angle Let's check the or 3D perpendicular 6 to 12 p.m. angle, what would be better? I uh, want to ask the is experienced comment panelist. from a panelist. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Gang, mean the parallel with the first clip or or the perpendicular to the cortex line? line. Uh, I yeah. want to put a uh, uh, second clip uh, just parallel to the uh, first clip because. Uh, 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 we can see the uh, anterior prolapse, prolap so just 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 lateral to the uh, mm -hmm. first clip. So okay, mm -hmm. I think the, uh, I recommend to put the uh, second clip. Then you just mean parallel to, to the, the first clip. Yeah. 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 Five to eleven yeah. p.m. How about uh, Dr. Kim's Is there opinion? Any, any cases? Uh, oh. not yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah. yeah, let's try the same uh, orientation the with clip? the first clip. Uh. Is there any any advantage or not? In some case, I'm, I'm not sure I, we have a little experience. Uh, Just here, yeah. But usually, it's the, the, it de depends on the competition mm. line. The competition line, yeah. like okay, this. Yeah, we are yeah. touching yeah. the first clip. So if we oh, yeah. put the first clip like this, so there's oh. a 10 to 4 o'clock. Yeah. So it it it's okay. difficult to oh. put. Please the, release uh, the end of the to gun. Okay. The, just prior to the first. It group. was a little bit dangerous. It, in these cases, uh, we uh, just uh, clockwise to the uh, second group. Okay, like we are we are five, in the central uh, position. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can move the device. Clip, so usually, uh, like I mean, just the first uh, clip yeah, going from here yeah. uh, to the quarter. I'll just the right? position again. Yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah. it's a yeah. first clip. But I think generally, I recommend to put the second clip. Okay. Uh, I will release the end up slightly. Yeah. 
At least I'm no. I agree. Okay. Yeah. A little bit lateral dive. And can you please check again the 3D offensive view? Okay. Because there was some interaction between the first and second clear and the risk of the SLDA or some laceration okay. could happen. So yeah. I removed um, all the device and will. Yeah, I, I think that the okay. slightly uh, rotate counterclockwise. Okay. Yeah, to minimize the interaction uh, with the first mm. clip. Okay. A little okay, that's bit. good. That's good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's try again in this position. Okay, now I will move a little bit medially. Yeah, right here. So uh, here. Okay, try to... Do you like it? Yeah. Okay. And then. Do you, do you don't cross grip? Please, I'm not uh, uh, release uh, slightly. Yeah, okay. Okay, the trajectory is good. Yeah. The position is good. And now we are, are we catching the full left segment? Can, do I have to move more medially? I, that's good. That's catch, good. Okay. Now it's good. Now I will catch the left segment. Okay. I'm going back. Oh, touching, touching oh. The, touching the okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we are touching the first. Oh, please uh, uh, close the, the clip uh, less than sixty uh -huh. uh, degree yeah. okay. to minimize the interaction with first clip. It's a little bit dangerous because we are touching the first clip. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's a good position. Let's try here. But uh, there is some yeah. interaction between yeah, 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 the yeah. clips. So I will remove. Please, uh, let's think about the uh, positioning. Remove the clip into the area. Okay, okay. I will remove the clip safely. Okay. Mm. Not to touch the first clip. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now we are out. Still, still, still in the LV. Oh, yeah, still in the LV. Okay, yeah, I will. Yeah. Remove it gently. Okay, now we are out. Yes, yeah, but we are thinking about the positioning because uh, uh, the second clip uh, is continuously interacting with the first yeah. clip. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, we uh, have to think about uh, the orientation of yeah. the route. Okay, then uh, let's check the position again and I will try my best to not to touch the first clip, and I will not move too medially not to touch the first clip. Okay, can you please show the three down front view again? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here would be a good position. Just the uh, central. Okay. The, the and I will move a little bit right? too medially. Okay. Do you like it? Is the position okay? But uh, to yeah. parallel with the first clip, yep. the just uh, rotate counterclockwise counter slightly. A little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, then I will close the clip a little bit to 120 yeah, degree and go through oh, in. Less than 60. 60. Less than 60. Okay, <laughs> I will try my better, best. Less than 60. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> and but otherwise, some, some yeah, position just totally close and introduce yeah. yeah okay then with a very small angle oh very good position i will introduce uh -huh. okay let's clip. try grasp uh, over there yeah okay now let's see uh, please open the clip yeah, 120 okay. to grasp mm. the uh, leaflet is it touching the first clip it's okay yeah 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 now now touching the first clip yeah. continuously very close very close. Very close. I will move a little bit medial, laterally. Oh, it's a little bit dangerous. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, position is good. Now good. it's fine. Yeah, now it's okay. I will. Okay, up. very good position. Okay. And grip us down. Down. Oh, until the free is not fully covered. Yeah, yeah, I, see, I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's try I once more. Try again. A little bit more, more, and. Okay, it's not fully covered, not fully grasped. Okay, do it again. Maybe there is some yeah. entanglement, isn't it? Looks like the anterior or refer to is above a uh, gripper. Yeah, I agree. Right? It's about yeah, the gripper. I will mm. Try to yeah, go down a little deeper. Mm. I think the anterior leaflet uh, uh, interferes with the gripper. Yeah, yeah. it yeah. interferes with the gripper, the gripper function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not fully catch it. 
okay. the collab segment yeah is interacting yeah i i agree i see yeah. ready to uh, go to uh on posterior side and a little bit advanced to lv yeah i agree, I agree. okay i will move on a little bit posteriorly Ooh. oh there's some interaction between two yeah, interaction right yeah. Yeah, still a group, yeah. okay now i will go out I go laterally. Okay, now we are in the more safe. Po oh no, not yet. Okay. I think the, uh, we have to think about the entrapment in anterior blade in this yeah, shaft. Maybe some entrapment. Okay, now oh. it's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's much better. Okay. And how about the hmm. the position? Yeah, position is good. And how about the posterior clip? Is it posterior is not yeah, changed? Posterior yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I will move a little bit posteriorly. Okay, anterior is on. Move a little bit posteriorly. And now, now anterior is anterior. Yeah, not closed. Uh, out of okay. position. Okay, a little bit close, and we'll try again. Anterior. Dr. Gang, far, yeah. uh, slightly far from the uh, original region. Oh, okay. Yeah, too centrally. We okay, need to move on a little bit medially. That's why you cannot see anterior prolapse segment here. Yeah. <laughs> Interior is good now. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we'll okay. That's we'll good. That's the good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Region. Okay, now it's okay. I think. Oh, good. I'll catch All the good. region. Okay, let's sixty check. degree close. Let's check the color. Ah, yeah, much improved. It's not. It's not fully closed. Yeah. Ah, yeah, fully closed, please. Yeah, I will close fully. Well, mm -hmm. I think that we locate the clip more closely to the first one, but. Th that, hmm. That's not the easiest thing because interaction uh, yeah. between the clip. Yeah, I want I want you to put the clip as medial as possible. But if I move to the medial, there was some interaction and entanglement with the first clip and some yeah. some uh, MR in uh, in the gap yeah. between the clip. Uh, how do you think about the uh, clip re uh, location or leave it alone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, of course. Ideally, this uh, second clip is a little bit more uh, medial side, but uh, there is a risk of uh, entanglement with uh, a yeah. code. There is a lot, a lot of code there. So why don't we check uh, MR uh, severity between the clips? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, MR I think severity that... between the clips. Can you uh, please show us the? As you can yeah, see <laughs> here between the clip, we can clearly see a uh, prep segment. Yeah, okay. That's why there is remnant uh, MR. Yeah. I think that we can once try once more. Once more? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Watson, how do you think about Do you agree? The, uh, yeah. Once more try? Yeah. Well, leave it alone. That's a, because they came is very strict. There is no. <laughs> Yeah. I think actually you brought down the prolapse very nicely already. You caught the. Yeah. I think that we just the open the clip slightly yeah. and then the clip uh, is very move, stable. Yeah. a little bit medial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then just a I 60 will try open. one more time with very small opening. And can you please show the image? Yeah. Just to put, uh, don't put the clip into the array because interaction between the clip. Okay. Just move a little uh, bit open. Lateral position in in this. Uh, and can you please show the echo? Yeah, this is the first clip. Yeah, now second clip is seen. And move a little bit medially. Mm -hmm. as you, a little bit. Mm. Okay, then I will try again. We'll put down. Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Here. Okay. Are you satisfied? Okay. Posterior. Well, uh, yeah, I can, you can close the clip uh, more. More. Let's check the color here. Yeah. Is it cut? It's pretty really More close. medially or here? Dr. Kim. Okay. How was it? Yeah, yeah. Let's close the clip. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's yeah. 60 degree now. 
Oh, much, much better. Yeah. Much better than before. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, much better. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that uh, we uh, and the procedure right here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, central. Uh, there is um, still remaining. Oh, I want to ask to the uh, the experienced panelists that does the central, the central MR between the cliffs is decrease the during the far rope yeah, or yeah, not? Yeah, yeah, significant. I think. Yeah. How, how do you think uh, about the residual jet? Uh, Panelists, I think uh, there is, of course, there is jet, but uh, there's no pizza, right? Yeah, yeah but uh, we cannot clearly see pizza here. I think it's uh, more than moderate because moderate. look at the 2D uh, pore segment. As you can see here, there is a um, laminar pore segment here between the two clip. Yeah. After the uh, clip, uh, uh, introducer or cassetta, we can. Uh, I, uh, Finally, found find the uh, pizza uh, in this area. Mm. Uh, one more try. One more. Try. Okay. One more try. <laughs> yeah. It's very strict. Yeah, yeah but <laughs> yeah. Dr. Gang, can you see the pore segment here? Uh, okay. Right I will here, try right my here. best. Right here. To move a little bit medially. Uh, how about uh, let's uh, change the uh, orientation of the clip. We initially planned to parallel to the first clip, yeah. but I think that uh, mm. we follow the cooptation line, co uh, perpendicular to uh, okay. cooptation line. Uh, uh, yeah, can, let's uh, ch uh, change the orientation of the second clip. Open the clip a clip little bit, and can you please show the 3D image? Let's try, let's try. Uh, okay. Okay, can you please show the biplane image? I will open a little bit and I will rotate the clip a little bit to the ah, I think that if we uh, counterclockwise yeah. the perpendicular center, uh, I think that uh, as the panelist uh, mentioned, the uh, covering of anterior prolapse is not sufficient from here. Yeah. Uh, that's why we have uh, to locate the clip parallel to the first clip. I agree. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's try the same, same okay. orientation as before. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. can you please show the biplane image? Oh, I'll try my best to cover the medial side. But as you can see in the yeah, you're floral, right here, though. As you can see it's the just beside to the first clip. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, now let's try to catch the, oh, now I can see the anterior prolapse segment. Mm -hmm. Now it's on. Please put the clip into the array deeper. deeper. Don't, 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 don't put, uh, don't okay. put, yeah. Because uh -huh. the chance of interaction is high from the region. Now is it cut? Is it grasped the okay. anterior segment? Okay. Mm. Mm. I think it's oh, better. Oh, better than before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I moved a little bit medially. And after moving, I could see the prolapse segment. <laughs> <laughs> I think slightly better than yeah. before. <laughs> 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 I think we we uh, have to end the procedure here. <laughs> yeah. How about uh, how do you think about this uh, the result? Can you please show us the, the and measure the pressure gradient and MR amount? Okay. At this let's position? check the yeah. pressure gradient. And I wanna ask the panelist and moderate Dr. Machimoto that the result of the, these two clips. Can we detach or finish the procedure here? <laughs> I the think that it is difficult to yeah. walk close to the... Yeah, uh, I tried my best. <laughs> because uh, <laughs> you have uh, uh, the, uh, also the height issue. So it, yeah. is, it is difficult to uh, put the uh, uh, guide capital more. So. Okay. So mean uh, gradient is, is three acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Acceptable, so right. is there any prolapsed region? Yeah. I'm not sure. Now it is very close to here, fast grip. There is. Uh, okay. Let's get looking at right here. Can you please use the, the, the arrow button because we cannot uh, see clearly? Yeah, there is a lambda uh, yeah. prolapse oh, yeah. right here between the two clips. Yeah. That's why you have a signal <laughs> of the MR between the clip. But I think I did my best. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we did my best. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Best. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I agree, I fully agree. Okay. And is there, is, is there a data or some opinion? The, yeah, the, the, uh, of the, the, the second clip is very stable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did 
이 대체할까요? I also recommend to evaluate the RPV flow pattern. So we should evaluate the color flow, also the hemodynamic. Uh, but uh, initially, there is no flow reversal in pulmonary vein. Yeah. As but I mentioned uh, before, the uh, pulmonary vein flow reversal is a specific parameter, not sensitive. But theoretically, so, is, it, is, it, is it possible to decrease the MR during the follow because of the some fibrotic change around? Yeah, the I agree. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. you can see there is a, a picture between the clip. Mm -hmm. I think the, yeah yeah right here, we can see picture. Yeah. 선생님 일단은 요 제거하겠습니다. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I will remove the long line. Okay. I think because the patient is very highly risky patient, then I wanna ask the panelists about the goal of the procedure because the the <laughs> procedure, <laughs> the medical procedure is uh like. Oh. Yes, yeah, the goal of the procedure is very important. This patient has a CBF, um, super CBF MR before procedure. So even if after procedure there is, this patient has a moderate MR, I think those, this patient doesn't develop a heart failure hospitalization. Yeah, yeah, I think it's less than moderate. And that, this that's is a 79 moderate year old lady. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and then I remove the clip. Okay, oh. <laughs> and I remove the clip line. Can you please, Dr. Kim? Can you please show the final result? Yeah. After removing the catheter. Haha. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. As I mentioned before, we can clearly see pizza here. I think mm. the uh, moderate MR is reasonable. Hmm. Yeah. I I agree. Yeah. yeah. But uh, according to the uh, literature, we uh, put a vascular plug something like that in between the two mm. How do you think about the procedure? I think yeah. Dr. Kubo wrote uh, write a paper. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can you please uh, for, uh, uh, tell me the uh, result? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I wrote a paper about the duct uh, occluded uh, too uh, between the clips. Mm -hmm. uh, so if after the procedure, if if the patient has uh, uh, any symptoms or uh, the uh, heart failure hospitalization, uh, you can use the duct occluded too or vascular plug too between the uh, clips. It's a very simple and easy procedure. Mm. Yeah, there yeah, is a uh, piece between the group, clip, but uh, it's, I think it's under one centimeter. Mm -hmm. But uh, do you think uh, uh, the degree of MR will uh, decrease eventually at the, uh, as the fibro has uh, progress between the toilet? No decrease I think after so. all? Yeah. I think so. OK, I will check the. LA pressure, well, this is the LA pressure as you can see, okay, well, well. I think it. Dr. Ken, you've done a good job. I think that's the closest that the two clip can get. Uh, we see how you did it. Um, although it's still sort of moderate MR, but uh, I think we can uh, actually uh, watch out for the symptoms of the mm. patient. And if yeah. the patient is still symptomatic, few months later, you can always put a plug in between if necessary. Okay, I agree. I bet yeah. the MR will decrease. But uh, mm. You can clearly see oh, pop the go between the clip right here. <laughs> uh, there's a little bit of <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. MR, but I, I expect to the decrease of the MR after uh, some uh, time, after the procedure. Yeah, just, uh, and it's maybe we can oh. use another device like the, the coil or blood closure if the patient is still, still symptomatic. Yeah, right here. Yeah. The posterior is mm -hmm. problematic region yeah. in this patient. OK. Then please let me, uh, I will label my uh, procedure. In this patient, 79-year-old with a severe DMR, in the medial uh, portion, severe DMR. So uh, we, tr we use the metal clip anti-system and first for the very commissure MR, and then 
try to best to cover all the prolapse segment just adjacent to the first clip. And because there was some the issue of the entanglement and very uh, it was very risky, so I tried my best to put put the clip very medially, but there is a still a little bit of remnant uh, moderate MR at the, the between the two clips. But I believe that the patient would be the patient symptom would be much better after this procedure, I believe. And I I will show you the long term result of this patient in next year, this TAP two thousand twenty two face to face. <laughs> I hope so. Okay. Yeah. Face to face. Yeah. Okay, so congratulations for um uh, Dr. Khan, Dr. Kim, and doc, uh, all of the heart team member of the uh, Assam Medical Center. This is very, not straightforward case, this is a very complex case, uh, P uh, PC prolapse, but uh, successfully managed with two-clip deployment. And also, and the, uh, and regarding the first clip, the uh, de-grasping was a very uh, good decision. And also, the uh, second clip deployment was uh, very difficult, but uh, fully managed to uh, just close to first clip. So, and also thank you very much for uh, all of the panelists for a uh, very excellent uh, active uh, discussion. So now the time to close, close this session. So thank you very much for attending this session and congratulations for successful case. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you and take care.